Rebirth. So that was cool. And all the voice cast, you know? So, um, yeah, Kitase and Hamaguchi were like, yeah, let's invite Gina to dinner. So, sick. So, uh, so I went out to, to have Spanish tapas uh, with, the, with the Final Fantasy uh, leadership. So. Do they, do any of the Japanese guys speak English? Or do, no, they, they, just, like, do they understand it and won't speak it? Or are they like... No, they, they pretty it? much... They, 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 uh, I, I had translators with me, so... But I, the, the whole dinner was just... Really awesome, you know? That's awesome. I, yeah, I, I, had two, I had two translators by my side, so like it was like, the, so like with two people by my side, like that felt like more, a lot more rapid fire. Like the conversation was actually pretty free flowing. So, feel bad for the translators almost where they have to like, they can't they talk. Can't, but, yeah. yeah, I mean like they try to have a conversation with me, and then like Kitasu would be like, "What? What are you guys talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up, you. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, like we'd be joking about something, and like, what's so funny, guys? <laughs> like, okay, well, we gotta explain to him now. <laughs> it's funny, man. I, I asked that just because, and I've said this on Sacred in the past. I was always just so tickled by meeting some of the Japanese devs. Uh, Inafune is definitely one of these guys that totally understands English, but refuses to speak it. I think because they're embarrassed or they don't think they speak English well. So you could often speak to him, and he would not need a translator, but then would speak to the translator. So that's some sense. Yeah. Or he would like clarify something with the translator. I love that. I think Kojima is the same way. So, yeah, yeah, probably. Um, Shinji must know English pretty well, though, right? Did you hunt He went to UCLA for undergrad. So yeah, he, so, so he knows in the States. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, he, um, that was intimidating. Like when I would go to dinner with him in Tokyo, he would order everything in Japanese and <laughs> he's very well respected at these restaurants and all that. And I'm just like, so bored. <laughs> yeah, he's like, 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 they're like, like, oh, this is Yoshida, Yoshida is on, you know? <laughs> yeah, that must have been cool, yeah. To, yeah, to what's cool? natural yeah. element. So that's why, like, 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 these guys were in my natural element. Right. Uh, so the Spanish shop was pretty far. The restaurant was, like, a place that I, would, like, recently took someone out and worked with, you know? So I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, this is a good date. So, you know, I was super proud of it, so. And he asked a lot of questions about DC and about, like, journalism, like, you know, like, and... <laughs> And I told him about like you know the prisoner exchange that Biden just did, and how right, like, right. we, we had our own like prisoner exchange hopefully, like about nine years ago. Um, Interesting. Yeah, yeah, you got them a little. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it would have been it, you got them a little late. Splendid. but It would have been interesting. <laughs> uh, with these silly strands, you're all the more like Wu Kong. Just don't prance around with your might as he did. That monkey's got a stash of treasures. I'll scout around some more. <laughs> yeah.